install of a third brake light. And this is the third brake light. And you also need some, just some basic radio cable to extend it, electrical tape, some tap connectors, and some butt connectors. And I'll show you guys what it's supposed to look like. So the install is supposed to be around like that. And I'll run it through my trunk. Alright, so with everything laid out, you just want to find a way you can connect this. Run it down, possibly this, or behind your bumper. And then you also want to, of course, tap it into your tail light. So first off, I want to find a way I can get the wire from up there down to over here. And I'll be right back. So of course once you have it out, uh, you want to find out which light you want to tap into. I'm going to tap into this one since this goes on when my brake light is on also. Or I can tap into that one. Uh, and that's why we got the butt connectors and all that stuff. Uh, so what I did right here is crimp the ground wire in and crimp the power wire in into my extra speaker cable. Run that down. Uh, in this case, blue is for dimmer light, red is for brighter light, and black is always ground. So what I did here is crimp this to the speaker wire. And this I'm going to put in. So you put it in there. And of course you strip one end with a little wire stripper. Just like that and you just connect it and you of course you test everything before you glue everything together and tape everything up and how do you use butt connectors or little crimpers of course you put one wire through and the other wire through so it's gonna look like something like that and you put the other wire through and then you crimp it with maybe some pliers and close the connection. So there, see how I put it through the wire, one end from the speaker wire, one end from the tail light itself. We're gonna smush that metal piece right there together and then close it off. Alright, so it works. Put everything. And of course, before you uh, make sure you put the wires through and the bolt through wherever you're doing it, and this is where I'm doing it, so I marked the two spots right there. And make sure you feed that through before you connect it to your speaker wires. Alright, so that's what it's going to look like. Make sure it's nice and centered. And then just connect up the wires, and we already tested it, so everything should be good. I just marked the red wire as the power wire, it makes it a little easier. Shit. Okay. Cool.